to participate in the collaborative exquisite corpse round robin, you created a layer masked file with four layers that the wiki describes as being named uu.tif. uu is a variable that stands in for the random number you receive to participate in the round robin, and you'll hear me refer to your file that way as well. In other words, uu equals your number. Remember to use underscores wherever there are spaces in good file naming convention. You won't hear me read them aloud in this demo. At the deadline for uploading, you submitted uu.tif to the exquisite corpse share folder your instructor created and linked for you in your learning management system. Now that everybody has hopefully submitted their files, it's time to visit the folder and retrieve a file. It's very important to remember this pattern for the share, you will look for the single number one higher than yours. If you are number 03, you're looking for number 04. The one exception is if you are the last random number in the group, in which case you are going to look for number 01. Find the correct file and download it to work on locally. Upon download, rename the file by adding an underscore and your number to the original file name. Example, you are number 03 and you've downloaded number 04, so you are renaming your file 04.03.tif. If this confuses you at all, email the instructor and they will help you figure it out. Open your newly renamed file and inspect the ambiguous partial image visible to you. Next, open your original scanogram and find an element within it that relates in some way to the new file. Copy and paste it into the new file layer B. By the way, don't drag and drop, as this creates a smart object layer. A smart object is really another term for an externally referenced image, which is useful in some contexts, but not for us. If you should ever inadvertently create a smart object, select that layer, right-click and select Rasterize Layer from the contextual dropout menu. This will convert it. Avoid totally obscuring the element in layer A with your layer B element, although you can certainly overlap it. And now the fun really starts. Now, for about the next 20 minutes or so, react to the two pieces you can see in layer A and B. How? Use any kind of digital image that works. You can scan new material and use that. For example, you can incorporate your own digital photos. You can also venture into an advanced image search for web-based imagery. Just remember the issues of fair use and proper citation for this material. Save the URL for any image you use and post it as a citation when you blog the project. It's useful to look for very large images, since these files are 2400 pixels wide and 2700 tall. It's also advantageous to use advanced searching options to find PNG-based imagery that has a transparent background already established. As you add material, open it first in Photoshop then copy and paste it in, remember, don't drag it in. You'll see as you add material that the program creates layers, adding them to the original A, B, C, and X layers. After about 20 minutes of reaction, you might end up with 5 or 6 layers in addition to layer B, the target layer for this round. Command plus click to select all the layers except the locked layers C, A, and X, and choose merge layers from the palette dropout menu. Now, this may well merge the original layer B into some other target and it also may well bump out of order, but this can be fixed. Just drag the layer to the right position and rename it B. If in the course of doing any of this you accidentally overwrite any layer other than B, that is, if you break A, C, or X by adding material to one of them, delete one of them, or merge them, use the history palette to find the mistake and start over from there. If you've burned up the history such that the step where the mistake occurred is no longer available, just start over. Do not prepare and upload a file that is structured incorrectly. When you are done with your reactions in B, it's time to prepare to share again. First, turn layer A completely off by clicking the eyeball icon. Next, create a layer mask on layer B in the same manner as you did for layer A in the previous step. If you can't remember how to do it, go back and review the instructions in the wiki. Make sure layers B, A, and X are locked, and unlock layer C. Double check to make sure there are no icons in the layer palette to give the game away. Save this file with your assigned number UU, and save it to your UU, X Corpse, share folder in the cloud to back it up. When done, upload this file to the exquisite Corpse share folder linked at your learning management system main page by the second share deadline. Your work on this step is complete.